way to Athens. So currently I'm in the car with my parents in the front seat and uh, we're going to the airport, Newark airport, and I'm heading to Athens, Greece for the Summer Nosos Festival. I've really been looking forward to this for a long time and I'll see you guys in the airport. So I'm in the airport, my mom's here, my dad's here, but they're about to leave me because I'm about to get on a plane to Greece. So I'm really excited. <laughs> I need to go through all the customs and everything like that. But then after that, I'm gonna be on a plane. So I'm in Athens. The flight was nine hours. It was, it was pretty chill. I slept for like three, so I'm really tired right now. But I'm on the bus right now with Jeremy Workman here. Uh, so he's going to be filming a documentary for Lily Hevesh. Check out her YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description. Uh, but she does domino art and stuff like that, so she'll be at this festival as well. But uh, yeah, so now I'm on the way to the Marriott, so I'll see you there. So I made it to the hotel, and I'm in my room. I was welcomed with some nice music playing on this TV here. This is amazing. This is a really cool room. And as soon as I got there, I'm leaving room 406. I'm actually heading downstairs to meet Mark Mitten, the magician who got me here. Uh, shout out Mark Mitten. I'm gonna go meet him. So I'm back in the room. I got an ID thing, that's really exciting. So I am extremely tired right now because um, I got to sleep maybe three hours on the flight um, and that was like all of last night. And now I'm in an entirely different time zone seven hours later. So I'm all thrown off, all jet lagged and everything. But here is the room. Uh, Ricky, my roommate, is not here yet, but he will be later tonight. Yeah, I think for now, I'm just gonna chill in here for a little bit. I think I'll eat my bagel that I brought from back home because I am so hungry. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I have something that I'm doing at 10 tonight, which is pretty late um, given how tired I am. So I'm really hoping I can stay awake until then and then fall asleep at a reasonable hour, maybe midnight or so. But yeah, uh, this is the room. It's pretty amazing. And there's a pretty quality view down there too. So it's about 7.55. Uh, Ricky hasn't quite arrived yet, but I have started unpacking my suitcase. So these are a bunch of cards. It's 72 decks of cards um, for Brian Berg, who's a card stacker who's gonna be here. Um, and these are some geometric shapes. We got some giant magnetic ones and some small non-magnetic ones. But yeah, so thanks to my mom back at home, uh, I was able to fit all these and all my clothes in that suitcase, which is pretty crazy. But soon I'm gonna be carrying all this in one of these bags to the lighthouse where stuff is gonna be going on. Um, so I can finally get these off my hands, which is gonna feel really good. So I'm here with Ricky, he arrived. Yeah, so um, we just brought all those cards that I showed before um, over here. They are in that bag, and we also brought the tiles. So that feels really good to get rid of. This is where Ricky and I are gonna be making the mosaic over the next couple days. So apparently the mosaic is gonna end up taking up this much space. That's pretty big. 2,200 cubes here, here. We're going through and opening them. <laughs> okay, so Ricky. There we go. <laughs> hey, so it's the start of the second day. I'm here with Ricky. Uh, we have a show thing that we're doing later tonight where we're going to be doing some team blind. So uh, we're going to be practicing that a little bit. And we're also going to start working on the mosaic today. So uh, yeah, we're going to do some team blinds and then I guess I'll see you when we're building the mosaic. Hey guys, so Ricky and I just got some lunch and we've been practicing team blinds. So I think we're pretty prepared for that. Um, but yeah, now we're heading over to the lighthouse um, where we're going to... Not sure what we're going to do. I think we're going to rehearse a little bit for tonight. Um, and we're also going to start building our mosaic, so that's exciting, but yeah, this is, this is Greece. Just made it to the lighthouse with Ricky, and Kostas is elsewhere right now, but uh, he has joined us too, he's a Greek cuber, um, you'll get to meet him soon. But we're about to start building the mosaic. We have all these boxes here, 2,204 cubes. So uh, yeah, we're gonna start today and see how much progress we can make. So I'm here with Vicky and Tex. Um, yeah, I met them both here today. They're both Greek cubers and uh, yeah, they came for, for all this. We're doing some workshops now. We're teaching people how to solve the cube. Um, Kostis is doing most of it since I don't speak Greek and he does, so that's really helpful. Um, but there's some other stuff going on here too uh, and I'll show you that in a minute. So here we've got Brian Berg teaching card stacking. Got a whole lot of dominoes over here. And we've got a domino tower beginning over here. 
I'm not gonna get close because I don't want to destroy that. So it's a mad rush, as you can tell by the <laughs> speed of our walking. We finished the workshop teaching people how to cube, and now we're gonna do a performance where we're all sort of cubing and stuff. We're standing here because we forgot to bring a Rubik's Cube. This is Kostas. I don't think I've introduced you on the Hi. vlog yet. But yeah, he's a Greek cuber. Yeah, he's doing all this stuff with me too, so you'll probably see him a lot in, the, in these videos, but... I yeah, you. yeah, hopefully. So, yeah, we're gonna be performing real soon. We're running really late. Sorry, Mark, but we'll get there. We're backstage. Yeah. Ο Daniel Goodman, ο κόσμος του θα χρησιμοποιήσει στην εφηγή σε αυτό το πέρα του Λοιπόν, Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! First show's done. That's good. That, that's really good. First show's done. That's all that matters. Here with Ricky. We got Costas here. Yeah. Um, we just in had the some green food. Room. We're in the green room. It's not green at all. I should I should like green screen key it and make it green. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make this green. Yeah, orange. Yeah, I'll orange screen this and make it green. This is the green room. Uh, we got some food, and I have to tell you, fruit in Athens has been way above average, way above New Jersey fruit, so yeah. We're heading back up to the lighthouse to actually get started on the mosaic, that's what we thought we were doing before, but we weren't. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna, we're gonna do that, hopefully make some progress, and I'll let you guys know how that goes. Top 10 Greek letters, number 10, all of them. <laughs> Fireworks outside, and we're inside, trying to figure out how to set up the mosaic. So we've been trying to start the mosaic for a very long time, but as it turns out, we don't know how to set up a GoPro. So we're gonna wait for Lily to arrive tomorrow morning to do that. But for now, we got boxes on boxes here, and we're gonna unbox some cubes uh, for the next 30 minutes before the second show, which is later tonight. The problem that I've noticed so far is that um, these boxes are taped up real well, and we don't have anything along the lines of scissors. We, we do. Have keys. <laughs> so don't Let's worry about that. Oh yeah. <laughs> always remember, if you need to kill somebody, you always have keys with you. <laughs> Second show is officially over. It went really well. Two more shows tomorrow, and yeah, that's pretty much the end of the night. It seems like. <laughs> <laughs> So this elevator can go to floor 0, 2, 4, 5, R, and 8. So mosaic building is officially starting. We have our outline here. It's 34 or 38 rows tall and 58 across. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be huge. 2,200 four cubes. It's really exciting. But yeah, Ricky and I are going to start. Kostas is getting here soon. And shout out to Hevesh5 for helping us set up the GoPro and everything. Um, yeah, that was really awesome, and we're really looking forward to this. Yeah, but, it's yeah. gonna be amazing. I yeah, can't wait to see how it comes out. yeah, I can't either. Yeah, go check out our channel. Costas has arrived, and Ricky and I and Costas are now all working on the mosaic. We got one row complete back there, as you can see. Um, and yeah, thanks to Lily, the GoPro is all set up and working really well. So yeah, now we're about to start the second row. We're still figuring it out. It took us about, I don't know, half an hour to get the first row. But hopefully we get a lot faster because there are 38 rows. So um, we, missed two cubes. we did miss, we missed two cubes the first time, but hopefully that doesn't happen anymore. We're gonna miss zero cubes in the second row. So four rows are done. Thanks to Kostas and Ricky and also me a little bit. Um, and mostly him. <laughs> we timed it. It took me 23 minutes to do one row. So we're pretty confident that we can finish the whole thing in like seven hours. If it takes us 30 minutes for a row, worst case, we can do six in an hour between three of us. So 38 rows, about six, seven hours, not bad at all. We're gonna keep working on this for a little bit. And then we've got the third performance tonight and then the fourth performance tonight. And then I'm gonna try to get some sleep for tomorrow. This is our sixth row. And we're about to put in the last cube. No pressure. There we go. Six rows complete. And Look at that view. That is crazy. So Ricky and Kostas and I just got dinner. Kostas went up uh, to start working on the mosaic a little bit more before the workshops start. Um, so we've got some workshops going on. A bunch of kids are going to come by and we're going to have them help us with the mosaic basically. So that's exciting. It's a bit of a rush because it is 6 something, 6.10-ish. And we need to be there at 6.30. And we also need to finish two rows of the mosaic before that. So 
we'll see how that goes. So yeah, we're gonna try to have the people who come for the workshop uh, try to match these scrambles on one side. If they do it, they put their cube on the paper, and then we'll be able to put it up there on the mosaic. So I just met Costantinos here, who made me this, which is absolutely amazing. DG cubes and then flag of Greece. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Shout out Costantinos. So the red and orange look almost exactly the same on these. So Costas taught me how to write orange in Greek, and I wrote it on all the ones with orange. So basically this case right here is the bane of our existence because it appears on like 50 or 100 or 200 of these cubes that we're going to have to do. Um, and it's just going to start showing up more and more as we get to the top of the mosaic. So I messaged Ava uh, asking if she would be willing to help find the optimal solution for this. And she said no. So uh, instead we've got Ricky here who has developed a nice alg. Beat that, Ava. <laughs> Ten turns right there. So I'm chilling on the floor. We got Ricky and Costas here. And we're just working on the mosaic a little bit more. It's looking really good right now. We have like 10 or 11 rows done, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, I'm tired, but I'm gonna stay awake because I have the fourth performance with these guys. Um, and this is our last one tonight, so that's really exciting. Gonna go out there and do some pyraminks and hopefully it goes well. 11 rows done. That looks great. I'm so happy. Αυτό ακριβώς λέω ότι είναι στο Νόστος University 6-8. Λοιπόν, κύριε και κύριοι, έχουμε τον παγκόσμιο πρωταθλητή ο οποίος θα λύσει το κύπο του Ρούπιξε. 3, 2, 1, go! I'm here with Lucas Garin at the final show, and uh, we asked him about our question that we were trying to figure out earlier, and he found an intuitive seven mover uh, for the same case. So we're going to move first these reds and these reds. So these two are going to put on the bottom, move on D, and move to the top. That's three. And then this is already the slice that you want to move to the top. So you could do one, two, three, four for a total of seven. Seven moves. There we go. Okay. This is this is Leia. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. My first time doing this exercise. Yep. Lucas gave this to her to try to figure out. Okay. I'm sorry, I messed up the first one. I was very close, <laughs> and then something bad happened. Yeah, so something happened. Again. Something went wrong. <laughs> this is the one, though. This is the this one. This is gonna be it. Go this. There you go. Ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow, Ricky Myler, everybody. <laughs> so it's the start of day four. I'm on my own right now because I was really hungry so I decided to get food uh, before Ricky was ready to come down. But it is about 12.45. I got up about an hour ago and today I'm basically going to be working on the mosaic, uh, meeting Erno Rubik, which is really exciting. And there's going to be a conference later in the day so that's all really exciting. And I can't wait to see how it goes. And I'm not quite sure if I've shown what the walkover looks like. Yeah, there's some nice water going the whole walkover which is really nice. Um, and yeah, the lighthouse and the whole building is all the way over there. It's quite a long walk in the hot uh, Athens sun, but I've gotten used to it over the past couple days. So I just met Erno, really sweet guy. Out of respect, I didn't want to put a camera in his face right away, but at some point I'll definitely get a picture with him because I am a fan at heart. But now I'm heading upstairs to meet Ricky and Philip and Sebastian who just got here, and we're gonna set up for the mosaic and everything like that. Going up. Still looking pretty good today. This is exciting. So Erno's gonna be doing an interview here in about an hour. For now, I'm pretty much just chilling here waiting for Ricky and Philip and Sebastian. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm here with Philip and Sebastian and Nora, and we're all working on the mosaic. A lot more progress has been made since you last saw. But yeah, um, probably like 15 or 16 rows in. It's going really well. So here is my first ever Rubik's Cube. This is the last time you'll see it without a signature on it. But yeah, I'm about to get Erno to sign it. There we go, just got it signed by Erno. Costas got his signed too. And my father's. Yep, and his father's. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and understand it better. Without further ado, please welcome Erno Rubik.
All right, so we're coming back from the presentation with Erna Rubik, and um, Lucas and Eric were also up there, uh, and Lily and Brian were there. They built a domino tower and a card castle, which is pretty cool. But now, we're heading back up to the lighthouse, and we're hopefully gonna work on that mosaic a little bit more. We got a whole bunch of people helping out with the mosaic here. It's a good time. So as we discovered yesterday, the kids here are way too fast at getting the cubes to match these pictures. Um, so we planned ahead to today, and now we're preparing to put out a second set of mosaic pictures for them to try out. There we go, two more. So, crazy coincidence, I tutor him. And he comes to Greece like all the time, because he's Greek, and he's here. So, this is Alkis, uh, and these are his cousins. So this is all the way up in the lighthouse. In there is where the mosaic is, and where the competition will be on Saturday. And yeah, this is just a little uh, square area. There's a really nice sunset tonight. So I just did like 71 solves on Costas's GAN X. Uh, I'm not being productive at all, but Ricky and Nora are being really productive over here with the mosaic. So if you recall that case from yesterday where uh, Lucas found a seven mover, Ricky found a 10 mover, well now Ricky found a six mover. So let's see it. There we go. Six moves. So day five is starting. I'm here with Ricky. Uh, we're about to go up to work on the mosaic and yeah, we're about to get in the elevator in one second. That was fast. So Eric and Nora have been making mad progress this morning. Nine rows left. So we've got five rows left. When Ricky and I walked in, there were like eight or nine left, and so we've been making some good progress. Nora's over here unwrapping, and Ricky's over here improvising this last row. So as you can see, we have a bunch of green cubes here, uh, because they didn't quite fit the frame we had. Uh, there was just a little gap here, and so the cubes were starting to fall over. So uh, instead, Ricky is actually just making them match the rest of the pattern, um, which is tedious, but he's doing a pretty good job so far. You can hardly tell. Looks pretty legit, so yeah, that's awesome. All these cubes here. But this one is not solved. And that's just because I did it. You can actually turn these in the, in the wrapping. It's pretty cool. So this is simultaneously one of the most satisfying and most unsatisfying things in the universe right now. We can't put the last five in until Friday. And today's Wednesday. <laughs> but on the bright side, We've got seven stations here. We're going to be using them to teach Eric's method for solving the cube. Uh, one station for each step, and kids will move on once they're ready to move on to the next step. As you can see, there is quite the crowd over there. There are more people behind them, but yeah, I think it should be pretty crowded once they all file in. <laughs> so, the first workshop of actually teaching people is all done. Um, it went all right. Definitely could have gone better, but it definitely could have gone worse too. It was pretty stressful and my voice is really tired, but I think as a whole, hopefully some people learned some stuff. So I'd say it was pretty good. <laughs> so, we just saw some really great performances in this place right here. Yeah, they were awesome. Uh, and tomorrow, we're going to be going to the Acropolis. So yeah, a bunch of us are going to go, and we're trying to organize that now. But I think we're going to be going pretty early in the morning, so that means I got to sleep soon. So, good night. <laughs>